SOLIDWORKS CAM 2023 brings some interesting updates to our machining capabilities in this 2.5-axis CAM package. As we enter turbo mode, we can see that there is visible scalloping, as well as some islands left over from our initial toolpath calculation. Let's see how our new features in SOLIDWORKS CAM 2023 help us with this. First, we look at our contour mill operation parameters. We can see that if we disable our toolpath compensation and program for center lines, that we can also do gouge checks. This is where our CAM program adds the program's tool radius to our lead in, lead out, and corner radii programming. As we look at our rough mills, if we choose a volume mill pattern and take a look at the volume mill settings, we can program for line moves only, which can improve controller compatibility and also make G-code easier to look through. Additionally, now for our multi-axis, multi-surface features for SOLIDWORKS CAM, you can now use barrel tooling. Here in the tool grip, we can add this from the tech database. Now we can filter for barrel tools. We can choose standard, conical, tapered, and lens, and advanced barrel tools. In this case, we're using an advanced barrel tool to improve our surface finish. As we examine the three-axis properties dialog, we are now using similar geometry tab, similar to that in our full-featured CAMWORKS options, which improves our avoid and contain features and areas, as well as our tool conditions and how to meet those. Finally, let's simulate our toolpath to see the results of these new options and features. Our new tooling and techniques allows for superior service finishes, simpler programming, and a wider variety of tools at our fingertips in SOLIDWORKS CAMP 2023.